BMW, there was an article that I saw that you have heated seats in the car, but now it's a monthly subscription to be able to use it. Are they out of their fucking mind? And, and this is confirmed or this is just something that's like trending or something? I'll pull it up because, right now. Because, <laughs> I mean, if anybody does that, I'm definitely not buying a car from them because that's crazy. Like in five or 10 years, everybody's going to start doing that though if the first person does it and then you're kind of, you won't have a choice. But to actually... Um, go in and buy all the subscription, right? It's going to be for a heated steering wheel, might be a whole package. Then I don't know if you want to activate. So it was a thing. It was a thing? It was a thing. And then they were testing. September 7, 2023, there's an article here that says BMW drops their plan to charge a monthly fee. Probably most likely because they got fucking roasted. Well, People saw how course. stupid it was. But they were testing it. How crazy is that? Because everything in the world is going into subscriptions, right? That is the huge trend that's been going on for the past 10 years, maybe more. Look at your phone now. Your phone is basically everything is on payments. Everything. Your, a house, your mortgage, 15, 30 year mortgage. Your car note, same concept, five, right. six, seven, 10 year car note. Right. Your phone now, there's no contract. But you have a eleven hundred dollar little computer in your pocket that you're paying twenty five bucks a month for for a couple of years, and it's like okay, if you decide to leave your phone carrier, it's either you pay off the rest of your phone, or you hand in the phone that let's say you already paid seven hundred dollars into, and you have another three three fifty to go. Right. People can argue you don't need such an expensive phone, right? But the way society is working and creating things is that they make it so that everything is attainable and accessible on these big smartphones at that price point. True. Yeah. So, of course, like if they know that's the trend and that's where everything is going, why wouldn't you test the idea? Hey, if people are buying these subscriptions, might as well, you know, and who knows if they're killing it for now. Maybe they did a little test. Well, they actually haven't released anything, so they couldn't have gotten a test except get reactions and see how people are going to take it. But who knows? Maybe somewhere, you know, in a small niche, they're going to start implementing this to see if people are actually buying them. And then, you know, one day if they see, OK, yeah, people are actually buying these things. Let's do it. You know what happens then? What are you going to do if that starts happening? You have your thousand dollar monthly payment for a car, whatever it is, and then you got extras which, you know, stack up to another 300 or $400 because they want to charge you for subscriptions. If there is car, you know, car manufacturers that don't do that or car brands that don't do that versus the ones that do, which ones are you sticking with? The ones that don't. The, the ones that don't. But what if all of them do it then? Because that's when it becomes a problem, right? One goes, then usually they follow. I, I believe, you know, if you're a good person and if you're like somewhat of a good company that's where you put a stand and be like okay we're not I, doing this shit. yeah we're not doing this and that's how i feel like we are with certain things right like we actually want to do things for people um with booking koala and we don't do certain things like that so um and that's why we don't want investors either you know because an investor comes in they're gonna be like well the first thing you can do right now because you know you can raise prices right? Because they don't care about the customer. At the end of the day, they truly care about themselves, right? They want to cash out of the business. So it's like, if someone in, you know, if someone's building a good brand, maybe Ford or some, some company like that, they might say, okay, we're not going to do that. And that's when I think they can win because I wouldn't, I'm not a Ford guy. I mean, I like their pickup trucks and stuff like that, but now I would probably become a Ford guy because this is, they're, they're showing you at least that they care about the customer and not the bottom line, right? Right. 